Leg kick go. Oh, oh he's going high. Wimbo better look to counter some of those kicks. He can't. Oh, he's getting hit. Nice start here by Tenorio. Latino still pumped up from his entrance. He almost hit him with that right, that high kick off the bat. He might catch him if he throws a couple more of those. He just did that move he did on the way that he's going to get you, Mark, gets his arm and uh, <laughs> knee him. I couldn't figure out what he was threatening him with exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, there's another head oh. kick. Let's look at Wimbo, though. We'll look, as soon as you come to the striking range, we got kicking range versus striking range right now. Wimbo likes to box. He just landed a clean left hook. Nice work there by Tenorio, but uh, Lou Wimbo had landed a couple of punches of his own. He needs to get to work. Both fighters got their hands kind of low. Tenorio fixing his hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice kick. Here we go. This Here's is what Lou Wimbo up. wants. Bring it in close. Well, Tenorio is actually the grappler here. Wimbo is going to want to control and, uh, again, establish range with his jab and look to land powerful strats, uh, big hooks, big crosses, big overhands. Lou Wimbo just looks a lot bigger than Tenorio, doesn't he? Well, he's shorter, but he definitely is more muscled up. Yeah. Tenorio confident heading into this one. Yeah, nice. Now, being the grappler, Tenorio's probably going to have the advantage on the mat, but he doesn't seem oh, to be pushing the takedown. Oh, oh nice elbow nice. there by Tenorio. Excellent elbow from the clinch straight over the shoulder. People of China are expecting a victory for Lu Win Bo, but uh, Tenorio putting in a good performance early, midway point of round one. Window kicking low. Oh, nice. Put cross. We heard was come on Brazil, which means come on Marcelo Tenorio from his corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, big head kick for Tenorio. Limbo does not care. Took it very well, didn't he? he just, yes. <laughs> like a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, a, it's not a, the fastest start he had in his last fight with Shannon Rich, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. That was that crazy. Was, oh, look, these guys are, I feel like this fight could end at any moment. These guys are throwing pretty heavy shots and they're landing really clean. As soon as somebody loads up and lands clean, I mean, this could be the end of it. We usually say that for the heavyweight division. This is a light heavyweight division contest. Still big boys, Oh, he just keeps going high. He's clipped him a couple times. You can only take so many head kicks. I don't care if they're not clean. He's having a good round, right. isn't he? Yeah, nice body shot. I mean, Tenorio might be loading up a bit much. I mean, he seems to be piecing him up with uh, these question mark kicks and these teeps. Uh, Wimbo has also landed with some powerful shots uh, on his, on, with his arms, and he's also piecing up with the legs. I mean, this is really anybody's fight at this point. Oh, it would appear that Tenorio has landed a few more uh, significant strikes. Very cool. There we go. Oh, nice shot made by Lou Wenbo. Yeah, messed up his hair. The crowd is getting into this one. Chant chanting Lou Wenbo as Marcelo flies back with a leg kick of his own. Well, Wenbo may want to watch out for those high kicks. I mean, they've been a lot up in that. He might want to bring his, head, his hands up a little higher. There it is. See, look at that. Wenbo needs to be countering these kicks. He can't just, like, let him kick and then move away and then let him kick again because that's going to happen forever. He needs to stop the momentum and he's got to counter back and turn the momentum in his favor. Here we are, clinched up. What can he do from the clinch? Can he bring him down? He's going to pull out that single. Nice uh, defense by Lou and Bo. Marcelo can't get him down. Favorite technique of uh, Lou and Bo is boxing combos. Let's see where we can see it soon. Yeah, well, he's got to establish his range. That's what the jab in boxing is all about. Establish that range and land those big combinations. Nice turn by Lulimbo as he gets what appears to be caught in a guillotine choke. All uh, Tenorio's got to do is pull guard, and this fight is his. He's not doing it. Well, Lulimbo's looking for the takedown. I don't know why uh, with that. Oh, okay. All right, what's he doing? Lulimbo, this is where he, he finished Shannon uh, Rich in his last fight. Let's see if we can do the same to Marcelo Tenorio. He I'm, loves the top position. I'm curious about the strategy of Tenorio because he gave up that takedown and he gave up a guillotine choke to do it. I'm not really sure why he pulled side control, but he's clearly tying up the left arm of Wimbo and he's also clearly using... Uh, yeah, he's got what, what I would call a reverse keys of Gatani. It's a common judo. It's a head and arm control. He's grabbing on the I use this position and I call it the fetus guard. There's actually quite a few sneaky moves from here, but not against the cage. This isn't a good strategy on the part of Mario, in my opinion. Well, end of round one, a very interesting round where we saw 
scenario. It looks pretty tired heading up, but uh, he had some good uh, good leg kicks uh, in that first round and a uh, couple of good boxing combos from Lou Wen Bow. But at the end of the first round, it was uh, Lou Wen Bow getting the takedown. As we look at the replay, that was a nice uh, left hook there by uh, Lou Wen Bow, an overhand right, but just missed. So it wasn't that good. Yeah, I would say with Lou. That was a nice left hook. That was uh, what we saw. I would say with Lou and Bo. Round one, proudly brought you by Pure Fitness. I think that Tenorio landed more significant strikes in that round, but Wimbo actually ended up on top you know, with the takedown at the end. And oftentimes, that positional control is more valuable in the eyes of the judges. But it happened at the end of the round. The rest of the time, Tenorio was piecing him up with these strikes. Not that. Wimbo wasn't landing back, but he wasn't landing as much. That was anybody's round. There we go. Seconds out. Again, this co-main event proudly brought to you by Pure Fitness, the official fitness partner of the Rebel Fighting Championship. Pure Fitness, inspire and help people to lead healthier and happier lives. Again, this is your co-main event of Rebel FC 8, a Warriors return. The warrior Lou Wenbo in the cage right now. I'm repping Eddie at cage side with David Hollywood. Having a great time at the TN Hurst Sports Stadium in Great Town. Oh, nice uh, as uh, Tenorio went for the kick at Lou Wenbo. Oh, Lou Wenbo trying to counter hard, getting through with a couple of strikes. Taunting is Tenorio. Trying to catch the leg kick there. Lou Wenbo looks energized and. Uh, these guys, these guys were talking to the Waynes, they've been talking all week, and it looks like a little bit of that showboating is starting to come out as these guys are getting sassy in there. Tenorio said he has a lot of respect for uh, Lou Wen Bo, but I wonder if that, that was us before the week started, so... <laughs> oh, oh, that was a big nice count. Lou Wen Bo. I like Lou Wen Bo landing his strikes. He's worked with jabs, he's gone down to the body as well in this round. Oh. Much more efficient slips into a spinning back fist and a slip for Tenorio. Recovery. Wimbo is using his jab a little bit more in this fight and in this round. There it is. See, that's what he's got to do as a boxer. Yeah, no, it's not jab, it. jab overhand and miss with a hook, but it leaves by inches. Oh, nice. There by uh, the team Tenorio. He's getting all his high blow. I say, yeah. Comes in. That's smarts. That would have hurt, and uh, again, it'll take a little bit of a breather. And I think that Tenorio needed this as well. He got hit a couple of times. We'll probably look at the replay in a second. But uh, but again, he, he shook off the, the strikes, but they definitely landed. But that one definitely landed too, the low blow. And Isaac Yapper yeah, warned him. He said, no, I know it's an accident, but next time it'll probably cost you a point. Being a boxing champion, Lewin, though, is using his boxing a lot more in this round. Better round for so far, yes. Absolutely. Tenorio's holding his own now, even with the foul. Lindo is much more aggressive though, today, right here. I like the jab to the body, working it high, low. So far, this is Wimbo's round. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, there, that was painful. That. That, you heard the thud of that. That was a painful kick. <laughs> we heard that corner from Tenorio. Nice lick kick, smash his face now. Whoa, I like that. It's like a clean head kick on Limbo. What, what have he's got, what is he got well, now, Hollywood? He's got the elbows from the neck from below. Well, he's got a triangle choke is what he's got right now. And he's just about to finish on him. Limbo is in deep, deep trouble here. I mean, this, this could be all over, especially those elbows. Blue Red Bow's in a bit of trouble and here. Got, and look, Tenorio's just got to extend the arm. If he hooks that leg, this is... That is out. Good shot by Red Bow. Yeah. He's now got top position. This is where Red Bow wants to fight. That was confusing how he escaped that. I mean, it's, it's almost like Tenorio just let him escape. He probably felt the weight of Red Bow coming on top, and he's got side control. This is where Red Bow wants to fight. He's going to try and use the elbows. Red Bow has had enormous pressure on him to have to let go of the triangle choke of those left. He's a big boy, is Lou Wenbo. Lou Wenbo, the chance to come again. There's a lot of time to work in round two. Can he get the job done? 
He's got side control. What's he need to do, Hollywood? Now, Lewandowski's doing a great job of maintaining side control. And he's very, very heavy on top, and he's keeping uh, Tenorio's shoulders pinned, which means he's dominating this position. I mean, that triangle choke may have been his last chance because Limbo is in an excellent position to attack from right here. I mean, this round, the last round, Limbo got hit a few times with some strikes, but he did end up on top, and this round is all uh, Limbo. With the exception of that submission attempt by Tenorio, Limbo is in total control. Uh, from, from the ground position from uh, Tenori. Again, the, the weight must have the uh, position. The guys, Isaac Gatz said, guys, you've got to work. When Bo's got the top position, so what, what is he going to do? He seems to, he, he needs to work a bit harder because he gets the finish. He's still plenty of time to work the ground too. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, standard knowledge would say that what Luingo wants to do is passed to the mount. He wants to probably slide that right knee across the belly of Tenori and get to the mount where he can posture up and start landing more powerful strikes or attack with submission holds. But when it comes to mixed martial arts, the side control is extreme. Some people are more comfortable in side control than the mount. In fact, a lot of people, it's easier to escape the mount in a lot of cases than a really good side control. Side control is a lot more dynamic. And it's easier to control. See how Lindo shifts his hips from side to side. Here he's on the side of his hip, then he shifted to his knees, he shifted back to the side of his hip now. More of a geo side control, manipulating the close, the near arm of Tenorio, uh, making it very, very difficult for him to shrimp out and get out. Tenorio's got to get on his side and get his hands in between, or get his elbows in between his chest and Wimbo's chest in order to start creating some space to get that guard back and get back into some of those attacking positions that he was in before. Because right now, this is, he has no options to escape from here. It's been an interesting one, a good performance so far by Lou Wenbo. He's striking the first round, probably shaved it, but I don't know what the was thinking. But definitely round two is in the book for us. Tenorio looks a bit tired. Uh, Lou Wenbo looks a bit tired. Both, both boys have worked pretty hard. We've got to dig deep and find what they can uh, bring out in the third final round if they want this victory. A lot on the line. Especially for Lou Wenbo. As we look at the replay, look at this. This is where Marcelo was taunting him, and Wenbo answered in kind. Uh, yeah. Careful what you ask for. He got it. I want to see the submission move. It's coming up pretty soon, but this is where yeah. it went to the ground. He was off of that single leg. He got underneath, and he was looking for the guard, and then look, look for him. Elbows from down below. Watch him clear. See, he got his leg trapped, and he trapped the arm with the leg, and that gate opened up this triangle choke. Now, what Tenorio needed to do is grab his shin with the left arm and hook Wimbo's left leg with his right arm. That would have twisted this into a tap, but he did not. Wimbo puts pressure on him, pops out, and dominates for the rest of the round. Here we go. This co-main event brought to you by Pure Fitness. One round to go in this co-main event of Rebel FC 8. A Warriors return. I'm Brad Benetti here at Cape Town with David Hollywood Hewlett. Having a great time tonight at the TNHer Sports Centre in Great Town. Thank you, Mr. Pericles. Here we go. Let's see what these fighters have in the tank. Limbo pressing the action right away. Tenorio is visibly tired. He's got after it. Three hooks, four hooks. Wenbo is going after Tenorio. Another nice punch there by Wenbo. Oh, spinning oh, elbow there by Tenorio as Wenbo goes to the takedown against the cage. Nice balance by Tenorio as he stabilizes, forcing Wenbo to play the cage game with him. There's a Kimura attempt. If he pops that head to the outside, Wimbo could be in serious trouble. This is a legitimate submission attempt based on the position they land in. Now, Tenorio can still finish it from here, but he's got to shift his hips and get that arm out. If he gets that a hand behind to Wimbo's back, this fight could be over. He gives that. Tenorio gives a nod to his corner, so his corner clearly giving him instructions and uh, exactly what he's trying to do, but I think Wimbo's getting in a better position here and uh, he's going to try and do some ground and pound. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to hold on to Kimura if he passes your guard. You're giving yeah. up an arm bar, you're giving up your back. It's not a safe place to be if they pass. Encouragement by uh, Tenorio's corner.
wanted to say and stay strong, but it's probably not a position he wants to be in now. Still trying, but uh, I think uh, when Bo's about to get in a dominant position, Hollywood. This Gamora lock that Tenorio's got on Winbo is doing a good job of shutting him down, but there's a lot of ways to counter a guy who's got your arm like that. Winbo is not using these counters. He's just content to sit on top and let Tenorio burn his arms out by trying to pull that arm out of the hips. You notice how he's trying to pull the hand outside of Winbo's hips and eventually around his back. You can move a guy around a lot with a Kimura lock, but you gotta get position. It's hard to do that against the cage. I don't think this is the best strategy. He should abort that and get himself to the cage, get his back to the cage, and stand go. up. Winbo's got his elbow out, so now he, he's got uh, side control. Or side yeah, now Wimbo looking for an arm triangle, trying to trap those that head and arm together. Blocking the hips is Tenorio and regaining the closed guard for the Brazilians. See Justin Leon, the, uh, the Rebel FC CEO. Be very proud of, uh, of the promotion he's put on tonight. Again with Faisan Zan. Great yeah. matchmaker. Absolutely. The Fonz and hashtag handsome boss. Doing, hey. it. <laughs> doing it again. Fantastic show tonight. We're a little past the halfway mark. Round three. The crowd is absolutely uh, loving the action here tonight. Got their, their glow sticks banging it together and they're supporting Lou and Bo, their hero, their fan favorite. I'd like to see more action by Tenorio off the back. I mean, he's, he's had some opportunities. He has not capitalized on them so far. Now, here he is. Look, with those long legs, if he can push that that left arm of Wimbo that he's working on, if he can push that past his own knee, he can attack with that same triangle choke he hit him with before. But he wasn't able to finish it last time, and it looked pretty tight. So we'll see. I, I have a feeling that Tenorio might be more partial to, to standing up and kicking than he is to playing off of his back, although he has exhibited some legitimate jujitsu tonight in Rebel FC. Yeah, yeah, strong second and third round by, uh, by Lou Wimbo. He's uh, hitting for a victory here in the co main event. Just over a minute left in the third and final round. I mean, with the takedown and ground control, Wimbo is constantly coming in good shape, isn't he? But he's in great shape. He's, he's very, very muscled up. He's got a lot less body fat, and he is coasting to a unanimous, yeah, a unanimous decision in this match so far. I mean, look at the guard. It's, it's not even, okay, he's closed his guard back, but it's not a particularly active. I mean, essentially all Tenorio's doing is protecting himself right now. He's not really doing anything to win the fight, and that really is what matters in the eyes of the judges. I mean, in the eyes of the fight. Big shot, big powerful shots laid low. Now Wimbo starting to land some real powerful ground and pound in this position. Tenorio is not being extremely active. Title Central! Yeah! In the final 30 seconds, Lou Wimbo is going to go to the, for the finish right now. Just over 20 seconds left. He's landed some great strikes and he's going to go for it. He's going to try and posture up and get those ground and pound action going. He's only got about 15 seconds to work, but. Uh, Great finish in this fight for Lou and Bo. Yeah, Lou and Bo, hometown hero. Put it on oh, the there show. we go. Big dive and hammer fist looking to do some damage. There it is. Five seconds of this match. Tenorio resigns to the fact that he's lost this fight. Fitness. Good performance by uh, Lou and Bo, and he moves on to another fight in Rebel FC. Can't wait to see him again. The fans love him. He helps uh, Marcelo Tenorio up and the respect is restored after the bit of um, back and forward during fight week, especially at the weigh-in. It was very entertaining to see, especially me breaking it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was uh, amazing you were able to move those giant guys. Here is this spinning elbow. This was oh, a great was nice. shot right in the temple. Yeah. That was probably uh, his best shot of the fight. Well, he had several great head kicks in the first round. Had a good couple of submission attempts as well, but he uh, did. Lou I thought, did very well. I thought that triangle was done. Hey, uh, you know, uh, I noticed something, Hollywood. I'll, I'll look to uh, the, my uh, my left, and uh, just behind me is a, uh, a UFC and MMA legend in Anderson Bigfoot Silva. He's in the house in uh, in Guangzhou at the uh, TN Her Stadium. So. Look at a Bigfoot Silver, he's giving him the thumbs up, hello, with his beautiful wife. So, uh, 
I'm, I'm glad he's enjoying the action. So he's giving us a thumbs up. Good to see him again. It's with our matchmaker, Faiz, Faizan. Zan. Should be proud of the uh, of the card he put on tonight. He's giving us a thumbs up. There's the Fonz. That's what we wanted. Hey. He's talking to Anderson Bigfoot Silver now. So again, we've got a special guest in the house. So I hope he's enjoying the action. So be great fight, uh, great night of fights. We're getting a selfie with the Fonz right now at commentary. There we go. And. Uh, we again, it was a great performance tonight by Lou Wenbo. Great, great, great performance by Marcelo. Had his moments in uh, round one mainly, but again, a couple of good submission attempts. Great spinning uh, elbow as well, but didn't capitalise. And, uh, and Lou Wenbo moves forward. And we've got Justin Leong, our CEO of Rebel Fighting Championship, in the cage as well. So uh, we'll send it up to uh, our MC's Dylan the Villain oh, and seven, Perry Lee's Perry Kale to make this one official. Oh, <laughs> 